Dear students, thank you for tuning in. This lesson is for English 810 for Technical and Vocational Schools. It is Unit 7, Lesson 5, Past and Real Conditional. But before you do the lesson, you should have the following. Number 1, Project Success 3, Students Book. Number 2, A Notebook or a Piece of Paper. Number 3, A Pen or a Pencil. Number four, a dictionary. Now, lesson objectives. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to use past and real conditional in writing sentences. So, let me ask you the question. What is the past and real conditional? Let me explain that by showing you an example. I, we have a gap, enough, money, comma, I, and a gap and full stop and you have a gap in here so let me introduce the past and real conditional I say if I had saved enough money comma I would have traveled full stop let me show you another one Adil gap in the park gap he gap time full stop let me introduce past and real conditional Adil would have played in the park if he had had time full stop a gap Sami a gap absent comma he gap full stop past and real conditional if Sami hadn't been absent comma he would have studied so the past and real conditional if had saved would have traveled would have played if had had if hadn't been would have studied is used to talk about what you would have done in an unreal situation so would have done would have done like Adil would have played or I would have traveled or he would have studied in an unreal situation like if I had saved enough money or he if he had had time or Sami hadn't been absent all of these situations are unreal so let me explain it a bit further the past and real conditional let me pull up the timeline where I have the present the past and the future it's used to talk about what you have done in an unreal situation in the past so the unreal situation is here where you cannot it is impossible for anybody to change the past so how to structure the past and real conditional you have two clauses the first one is the if clause the second one is the main clause and this is how you construct the sentence you start with f plus a subject plus past perfect and then a comma then the other clause subject plus model plus have plus pa past participle and then a full stop let me show you with examples if you as a subject had exercised past perfect comma subject you model would and have is the same past participle been and fit is the complement of that clause so you say if you had exercised comma you would have been fit full stop a second example if she had called past perfect comma he would have answered full stop a third one if it had rained past perfect comma we would have played in the rain full stop we would have would have is would have and played is the past participle of play and the rain is the complement of that clause so let's jump to task number one fill in the gaps in the following and you have a mark of three number one if you gap a lot comma you would have passed the test you have to use the verb between the parentheses you have five seconds
let's check the answer now. The answer is, had studied. If you had studied a lot, you would have passed the test. Now, give yourself a mark. And let's jump to number two. If it had rained a lot, comma, the ground, gap, wet, full stop. You have to use B between the parentheses. Five seconds. Now let's check the answer. The answer is, would have been, if it had rained a lot, comma, the ground would have been wet, full stop. A third one. If he, gap, late, comma, he would have woken up early, full stop. You have to use sleep, five seconds. Now let's check the model answer. Hadn't slept. If he hadn't slept late, he would have woken up early. I changed this to negative because the meaning requires it. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Now, past and read conditional. This time I'm going to switch. I'm going to start with the main clause and then the if clause. So how to structure the sentence. I start with the subject with a capital, first letter, then a model, plus have, plus past participle, without a comma. Then F with a lowercase i, plus a subject, plus past perfect, then a full stop. Let me show you with example. You, as you see, it is capital. You would have been fit without comma. No comma in here. If you had exercised, full stop. The I is in lowercase. He would have answered, you see, have in here does not change. You cannot say has because the model requires an infinitive bear, means without to. He would have answered if she had called, full stop. We would have played in the rain, no comma, if it had rained, full stop. So, what has changed? As I said, the Y, the He, the W became uppercase, and I, I, I became lowercase, and without the commas. So, let's jump to task number two. Circle this, uh, the correct verb forms, and you have a mark of three. The first one, if Mariam had had or would have had, a lot of money, comma, she had bought or would have bought a beach house. You have five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer for the first close is if Mariam had had a lot of money, she would have bought a beach house. Give yourself a mark of three. Number two, if she hasn't had to or hadn't had to work, she would have take or would have taken a long vacation. Five seconds. Let's check the model answer. If she hadn't had to work, she would have taken a long vacation. Give yourself a mark. Third one. Sami would has gone or would have gone fishing every day if he had rented or would rent a boat. Five seconds. Let's check the answer now. For the first one, Sami would have gone fishing every day if he had rented a boat. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. Past and real conditional forming questions. So how to form a question? You need what we call the WH question word plus main clause 
and then the F close, and you cannot switch these. So we start with the WH question word plus a model plus a subject plus have plus past participle. Then F, a subject, uh, past perfect plus complement and then a question mark. Let me show you. You see, WH question word what, model, word, subject, you, have, stays the same. Past participle, done. F, F, subject, you. Uh, past perfect, had one, had one. Complement the race and the question mark. This is a second example. Where would Amna have gone if she had had a car? In had had, the first one is for the past, the second one is the perfect past perfect would who would they have called if they had been here question mark now let's jump to task number three fill in the gaps in the following and you have a mark of three the first one where gap if you had had a car question mark you have to use you as a subject and go as a verb. You have five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is, would you have gone? Where would you have gone if you had had a car? Question mark. If you're correct, give yourself a mark. Number two. How long gap if she had been here? Question mark. You have to use she as a subject, stay as a verb. You have five seconds. Let's check the answers. The answer is, would she have stayed? How long would she have stayed if she had been here? Question mark. The third one. What gap if we had felt the same? Question mark. You have de, uh, we and then make. You have five seconds. Let's check the answer. The answer is what we would have made if we had felt the same, question mark. Now give yourself a mark of three and let's carry on. So, for a moment, the past participle. You see, past participle is very important in for a the past perfect. So, uh, verb types, we have two categories. The first one is regular verbs and the rule is simple. You have verb plus ed. For example, play, you just add ed to it and it becomes in the past participle. Visit becomes visited. Call becomes called. And you have an, another category which is irregular verbs where there is no rule to it. So you say be, the past participle of be is been. You see, the whole verb changes. Break, broken. Fall, fallen. Bring, brought. Cost stays the same. Now, this means something. It means y that you have to memorize a full list of irregular verbs. If you open a dictionary or if you go online, you will find this table. You will find a base form, present simple, past simple, past participle and present participle. As example, do in the base form. Present form, uh, do and does. Past simple, did. Past participle, done. The present participle, doing.
just like that we have write, right, writes, wrote, written, writing. A third example, pay, pay, pays, paid, paid, paying. Now we're going to focus on the past participle. Now let's jump to task number four. So in your notebooks, answer the following. Question A, combine the two sentences into one using the past and real conditional, like the example below. And you have a mark of six. Number one, I didn't have enough money. This is the first sentence. I didn't buy the computer, second sentence. Now, your task is to combine the first one to the second one using the past and real conditional, like the model answer. If I had had enough money, comma, I would have bought the computer. So, how did I come up with that? I have didn't have to worry about, didn't buy to worry about. So, I added if, and I made this had had enough money instead of didn't have. Then I added the comma instead of the full stop. And didn't buy, I said would have bought. So it should be simple. Now you can do number two. You didn't work overtime, full stop. You didn't finish the project. Number two, uh, three. We didn't leave the house early enough we were late for the concert. Number four, he lost his job, he moved to the other city. Now, you have three minutes to answer this. Let's go over the model answer. So, for question A, the first one, if you had worked overtime, comma, you would have finished the project. 
Second one, if we had left the house early enough, comma, we wouldn't have been late for the concert. Three, we ha if he hadn't lost his job, comma, he wouldn't have moved to another city. Now, give yourself a mark and let's carry on. Task number five. In your notebooks, answer the following. Question B. Write four sentences in past and real conditional using the following. And you have a mark of eight. First one. I drive fast, have an accident. Your task is to combine all of these words into one past and real conditional sentence. Second one. The story, be interesting, buy it. Three, he find a lost wallet, search for its owner. Four, what we do when the match. Now you have five, uh, three minutes to answer this question. Let's jump to the model answer. But before we do that, let's use the self-correcting tools. After you have finished, make sure you have in all of your sentences the following. Number one, a capitalized first letter. Number two, a full stop. Number three, no spelling mistakes by checking every word using a dictionary. Number four, no grammatical errors by reviewing the lesson. So, let's go over the model answer. One, if I hadn't driven fast, comma, I wouldn't have had an accident. Number two, if the story had been interesting, comma, I would have bought it. 
if he had found a lost wallet, comma, he would have searched for its owner, full stop. What would we have done if we had won the match, question mark? Give yourself a mark and let's carry on. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back for finishing the lesson, plus two marks and calculate your final mark. Evaluating lesson objectives. Now, you are able to use past and real conditional writing sentences. And you have a mark of 25. If you have finished the lesson with 100% correct answers, that means 25 marks, then you can proceed to the next lesson. If you have 75% correct answers and above, that means 90 marks and more, you can go over the part you failed in and redo it. If you have 75% or lower, that means uh, 19 marks and below, then redo the whole lesson. As always, practice makes perfect. Good luck and thank you for your attention.